I'm Emilio Alvarez with Classical KMFA 89.5, and I'm the host of Breakfast Blend every weekday morning from 6 to 10 in the morning. But today I want to share with you one of my favorite books of all time. It's called Dragons Love Tacos. I really relate to this book because I also love tacos. This is like me right here with the tacos in the mouth, tacos on the belly, tacos all over. Dragons Love Tacos. And today I have a little bit of help from my daughter. Her name's Rosalie June. She's our camera operator today. Thanks for your help, Rosalie. She's almost yeah. six years old. And did you know I am already six? Not quite six years old. In a couple of weeks, she'll be six Why years old. Why can't I be six right now? Okay. Well, Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmietti. All these tacos. Dragons Love Tacos. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Oh, I love this castle bed. Maybe it's a little skeptical though. Skeptical means? He's, uh, skeptical means he's not so sure about that. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch from the crispy tortilla. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Hmm. Taco, uh, you got these from Taco Cave. I've never been there before. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. What? They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. I can't believe that. This says, No Spicy Salsa, A Guide to Dragon Cuisine by Alan Puff. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make, ta ta if you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, these are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Mm, he doesn't look so good. He's holding his He's belly. Falling down from the sky. He's falling out of the sky. Dragons love parties. They love costume parties and pool parties. That looks fun. They pool like parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions. I'm into that. And tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. Oh, it's so sweet. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? He says, you're invited. Taco party for dragons at Robbie's house. He looks excited. Yeah. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. Oh no. He's like, what are you doing with my salsa? The dog. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. 
Oh, they're having a great time. I need this shirt right here. I heart tacos. You need a shirt for me to get what says I heart donuts. You heart donuts? Yeah, wow. I heart donuts. I heart tacos. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. <gasps> Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? It says totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Oh no. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love these tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh no. What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Don't turn the page. <gasps> Too late. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Oh, look at the tacos raining down. I know, they're all on fire. And oh. look, the, the pizza stairs. They're hiding. That's where I would be, right under the table. Oh, no. They destroyed the whole house. And he's still holding a taco over here. Do you see that? He's holding a flaming taco. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. Thanks for reading Dragons Love Tacos with me today. It's a wonderful book by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. They also have another really cool book called Those Darn Squirrels. It's another one of our favorites. Um, and thank you, Rosalie, for being our camera operator. And you guys can tune in to Classical 89.5 KMFA every weekday from 6 to 10 in the morning and catch me on Breakfast Blend. My name is Emilio Alvarez. Thanks for reading with us this morning.